Chris Paul, PBA League All-Stars. We're across the street from the Staples Center here at LA Live and Lucky Strike. Last year was the first time Lucky Strike played host to that event. CP3 team with Jason Belmonte and Kevin Hart. The comedian Spare in the eighth frame had Chris Paul's team thinking three-peat. But Jerry Ferrara, turtle from Entourage, got some help from the bowling gods. And Blake Griffin helped seal the deal as the team of Griffin, Ferrara, and Pete Weber captured the title by beating Paul Belmonte and Hart. Kimberly Pressler is with Blake right now as he prepares for his upcoming match. That's right. So, Blake, last year you were the victor. You're the guy who took it all. Do you have what it takes to make it in the final and uh, make sure your uh, team man on the court over there, Chris Paul, does not? I hope so. I hope so. We'll see how it goes. But, um, you know, Chris is still still feeling a little salty about the last, uh, last victory. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Kimberly. We are joined by the man who, along with Chris Barnes, moving through into the final. Chris Hardwick, how did it all happen? How did you move through that tough competition? Uh, it was, you know, I, I, I bowl on the Internet, but it's much more <laughs> tense to bowl on television. There's people lining the lanes. Everyone's looking at you. It's, I don't know how my dad did it on the tour all that time. I, it's very stressful. And we saw Chris Barnes' son open it up before we got on TV. Crushed a it. Huge strike. What a great way to start this off. Exactly. Everyone was. Pumped. I told Barnes, I was like, maybe you should use your son. Maybe you want to switch me out. You can switch me out. No, that was happening. We we're going to get started with the second oh, semifinal. We got to find out who your challengers will be. And as he gets ready, let's serve up a bio blast on the PBA League's LAX owner, Chris Paul. The six time NBA All Star guard is in his second season with the Los Angeles Clippers. A man who brings it every game, whether it's on the court or here on the lanes. He starts out with a strike. That's good. I mean, this is the Chris Paul. You have to start PBL, that way, right? You have to start that way. Yeah. So, Chris, what was it like growing up with a Hall of Fame bowler? Um, my room was in his trophies. <laughs> I love my dad. You know, my dad, I, I, I loved bowling when I was a kid. Never pressured me to, like, you have to follow. He was like, you know, I did what I wanted to do. You do what you want to do. Oh, Jason Belmonte <laughs> leaves the 10. That's called an Australian strike. <laughs> Five PBA up. titles, no majors for Belmo. <laughs> Kevin Hart having fun. <laughs> Always the antagonist is Kevin Hart. Belmo trying to clean up for his team. And he does indeed. And so LAX can't go strike, strike. And now Kevin Hart, PBA League owner for the Philadelphia Hitmen. He is teamed with the real deal, Bill O'Neill. This guy here is pretty funny. I'm glad that trophy survived. Oh, yeah. And didn't get knocked off the top of the ball. Right a chance for a spare, though. He's got a chance for a spare. Really? <laughs> Kevin Hart knows how to bring it. He was the MVP in the NBA Celebrity All-Star Game, despite game, getting people. ejected in the fourth quarter game of last year. He got oh, ejected? He got ejected. He nearly undressed on the court, threw his shoe. They still voted him That's not MVP. allowed? <laughs> I think bowling needs more of that. Yeah. Oh. Pick up for Kevin Hart. This is a strong start for this group of guys. <laughs> he's bowling like he's the trophy. He's posing like he's the trophy himself. Be the trophy. Be the trophy. Go get him, Bill! You can't do that. You can't do that when I'm up. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> the real deal. Bill O'Neill, four PBA titles, one major, the U.S. Open in 2010. Franchise player for the Philadelphia Hitmen. Pretty ball. Nice. Don't make me laugh. We're good. That's what they're supposed to do here. <laughs> He was serious, too. Don't, don't do that. Don't make no, please, don't. He got so don't nervous. Don't do it. Anything but that. Don't do it. You, can, you couldn't tell, but I'm shaking when I'm going out there. Straight down the pipe, baby. Lamar Woodley, team owner for the Pittsburgh Jackrabbits. Oh, yeah, he's also the linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, he's all muscle. I didn't know they made a shirt big enough for Lamar. That's two shirts. Oh. 
Got that one pin. That's Wood, that one pin. Wood has yeah. no finesse. That's that one pin, Kev was talking about. <laughs> no finesse at all. Knock it down, Wood. Hey, There's shut up, dog. Orthodox. <laughs> Hey, don't say that about the shot. <laughs> oh, no way. This, this is Jalen Rose thing here. He's got time to pose before that spare is completed. <laughs> no, it's not a Jalen thing because he made his. <laughs> well, you were so nervous just now. A franchise player for Lamar Woodley's Pittsburgh Jackrabbits is Osku Palerma, the twin fit. Palermo, yet another major championship winner on today's show. He captured the PBA World Championship last season. <laughs> oh, Scoop Palermo with the strike. Oh, yeah. And the Jackrabbits. Go spare, strike, everyone tied up. The two-handed bowling thing still freaks me out a little bit. Hey, get used to it. I don't it's know how they do stay, it. Chris. I don't know how they do it. And one-third of the defending champion teams, Blake Griffin, forward from the L.A. Clippers. Oh, man. Watch out, it, watch out, it, watch it. out! Yeah! Oh, come on! That took long than a Jalen Rose spare ball. That was like the slowest rack in the history of bowling. You see that? That's where the pin goes. All right, I'll knock it down. <laughs> You're nice count? looking. Yeah. Does that count? Chris Paul can't believe it still. It's good. That's like making a shout out to the timeout was called. No, no. And one, and one. Oh, some serious words going across the approach there between Griffin and CP3. Now, yeah. Missy Parkin. <laughs> First woman ever to join the PBA. She did that in oh, 04. Yes. No Bowling with Griffin. No Representing Billy Jean King's PBA League team. Wow. She is not Ooh. backing up her partner we very well we here. Got this all day. <laughs> we can do it. I see her picking this up. I see it in your future. I see it. Go on, go, girl. I see it. Go on, go. Missy converted, no. Oh, so close. And after that dramatic strike by Griffin, Missy Parkin opens up. What are y'all doing? Why y'all sitting them back there? Okay, we need to know what's going on. Don't just do that. Chris Paul now. Back in action. Oh, that's right there. No doubt about it for our host. He's on a mission. He wants the trophy back. This is his house. He's going to have to go through Chris and Chris in the afternoon. Let him, let him get tired now. I was waiting for a response. Appreciate Barnes and I are getting to rest. I'm commentating. Talk about the easiest gig in the world. <laughs> no, this is hard. Oh, that's right. Belmo. Oh! Did not get that 10 pen to fall with all that action behind. Okay. Back to back 10 pins. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my teammate alone. Oh, he missed! He missed! He missed! He's human! I got these. Wait a second. Give me a second to cool down, get my bearings right. You see his eyes? Ah. <laughs> Let's go, Kev. You with us. Kevin Hart trying to back up his trash talking. <laughs> Team owner. Yeah. Philly Hitman. Get in there. Hitman only got eight. And you know what? You're better when they're on the left side. I don't leave spares open. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's a tough tough crowd out there, isn't it? You have to have thick skin. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of heckling. Thank you, partner. Yeah. Make him laugh. I can't. Yeah! 
What are you going to do with that one, Bill O'Neill? Oh, nice. Oh, he likes the point. That's that move for Maybe not move. orthodox, but he'll take it. I opened with a Brooklyn. I can't, I can't make fun of anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. The real deal is the real deal here. The Hitmen, the Jackrabbits, the Adam Splitters. Some of these teams do have pretty unusual names. So where did those names come from? Philadelphia Hitmen. And where did that name come from? Well, me, because I'm a hitman. In my past life, I did a lot of things that I'm not proud of. And uh, this is the only way to let that legend live on, was the name of bowling team after my past. Hitmen. Pittsburgh Jackrabbits. Um, where I lived at in Pittsburgh on this island, there was always a bunch of rabbits running around there. So I decided to name them Jackrabbits. So Pittsburgh Jackrabbits. Well, I had to come up with something, you know, kind of catchy. Uh, you know, we came up with a lot of ideas, but strikers, I felt like, you know, that's what we're going to be doing a lot is striking. Isn't that right, Norm? So uh, strikers were, you know, it's very fitting. Uh, we're the Silver Lake Adam Splitters. I based the team in Silver Lake because in Los Angeles, it's primarily a hipster community, so there's not going to be any sporting anything coming out of that. And Adam Splitters, I just wanted a name to be sciencey. I mean, bowling is physics, and no one ever points that out. So I said, I have to have a sciencey name, and I'm going to base it in Silver Lake. And so that's what it was, Silver Lake Adam Splitters. Very down the pipe. You're not too so strong for, for the Jackrabbits, here's the big man, owner Lamar Woodley. And for the record, Lamar, I love your team today. That had some smoke on it. <laughs> That's just brute force strength. And yet, the 10 pin, ten pin set. is stronger than anybody. Well, it's, it's, it's not a game of strength. It's a game of precision. So you having fun with uh, Nerdist.com? I am, actually, yeah. You are a great bowling proponent uh, on that side. I love bowling. Look at that. Oh, I thought he had it. Had the blinker on too early. <laughs> up next, Oscu Palerma. He struck his first time up. That's chemistry. Chemistry. Got to create some chemistry, you know. It's like a quarterback in a, uh, a center, you know. Randy, you bowled on these type of events. What? I mean, the, the pro is supposed to come out and dominate this thing. That's the extra pressure for the whole, the whole event, isn't it? Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Lauren. Are you talking to me? <laughs> you know, the thing about it is the atmosphere is so light. It's it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to get locked in and and, and you know just kind of. I mean, you want to have a good time, and seldom do you have a good time when you're competing at anything. Well, not only that, but you're waiting for you know seven other people to bowl. Right, and that's the other thing is the, is the wait in between each shot. So don't say that. It's like playing golf on a Muni on Sundays. Yeah, you know, every right. hole. The six-hour round of golf. Blake Griffin. Got the head pin. Can he get everything? Boy, he's got some mixing action there, Randy. Nice try, Blake. He throws it really straight. What a study was at Oklahoma University. Played two years there. And then the first pick by the Clippers after that. His rookie year, he was injured, didn't get a play. Came back the next year, won NBA Rookie of the Year, and he is now oh, no. leading the way with Chris Paul. That's for those LA Clippers. Sorry, yeah. That really just kind of ruined everything you said that was out of I was building up for a great spare call there. And Griffin. I've always got Kevin Hart to help me out. Sorry about that. Up comes Missy Parkin. Parkin, not an official member of the PBA League's New York City WTT Kingpins, but owner Billy Jean King asked if she represent her team today, a special guest along with Blake Griffin. Parkin, the winner of the 2012 WBT Women's Finals. Look at him. Look at him. We're going to uh, wish Chris Hardwick good luck in the finals as we send you on your way. Terrell Owens is going to come and take your seat here in a moment. Excellent. Be creeping up to them pants. Tell him I'm, uh, that I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let Randy do that. This is, the only thing, this is the only thing I could ever beat him at. <laughs> and I'm going to savor this juicy victory. 
<laughs> Take that, Terrell. <laughs> so quickly, what's your plan for the finals? Do you just have to do what you were doing in the semi? I need to relax. I was really tense the first round because I could feel all the eyes on me, and uh, I just need to relax and release the ball a little bit earlier. My dad texted me that already. He's like, release the ball <laughs> You didn't know what to do, but Billy knew it. He do. already knew. He knows what my main problem is. <laughs> nice. All right, Missy Park, and now with another tough spare conversion attempt. Not going to do it. Opens up again. And so we are going to take a break. Again, Chris Hardwick, good luck to you. Thanks, we'll be Chris. back with more. Terrell Owens is going to join us. He has a pretty darn good swing on that approach. Stay with us. 